got another uh, differential coming in. This is Spicer Diff. Okay, down. Get the chain. Yep. Hey, what's up, guys? So, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Maximum Powertrain. So on today's video, I will be showing you on how to uh, disassemble and reassemble a Spicer differential. So this came off of a uh, Peterbilt truck. It's a DS404 diff. All right. All right, so we'll start with the power divider. So first we'll need to take out this yoke. For this nut, you'll need a two and three six, 16 socket. So once you, once you get this off, we'll have to take off these um, bolts and you'll need a 21 mil socket for that one and an extension. So now that we uh, open up the back case, there's a power divider. We need to pull this out. There's a power divider. There's a broken mess. And there's a pump. For uh, these bolts, you'll need a uh, 30 mil socket. Okay, now, let's take off the pinion gear socket off and you need a, a six mil allen key socket for these three bolts so you can take out the um, side gear and the pump and now for this big nut you need a uh, two and nine sixteen quarter uh, big socket Now that the pinion is out, we'll open up the diff case so we can check the nest. So for these bolts, you'll need a 14 mil 12 point socket. So there you go 
guys, that, that's how you uh, disassemble the uh, spicer lift. So, um, well, we're waiting for the parts, and uh, I'll show you how to uh, rebuild this uh, differential. So today, here in Toronto, it's, it's nice and sunny weather. I think uh, right now it's 23 degrees. I want to show you outside what it looks like. Little clouds. Stay tuned guys. Okay, so let's do the preload. Here's the spacer. Spacer. And the retainer. Okay. Alright guys, so um, there's the preload. So if you have a loose preload, all you have to do is take out that spacer and grind it until you get the exact preload you want. So right now it's still kind of loose. It's on 600 PSI. So we'll have to grind that uh, space. Okay, so uh, here's the spacer. So we're gonna have to grind this so that we can get the, uh, the right preload for it. So we'll have to grind it. Check it again one more time. Back the spacer. All right, so there's the preload. That's how we want it. Uh, it's not too loose and it's not too tight. And it's on 600 PSI. So there's the preload, nice and tight. So now we just need to put in the cotter pin. And now we need to put the O-rings. Bottom here, the pump. Okay, so that we put um, silicone around, ready to um, put the case on. So now we'll uh, do the end play. We'll put 
put on some uh, few shims here. And uh, we'll put on the retainer. And we'll check the end play. Okay, so here's the end play. Got like five thou right there. Five to six thou. I'm gonna take these off, put silicone around, and then install the retainer and install the oil seat. So now we'll check the uh, shifting uh, on the power divider. Alright guys, so that's how you uh, disassemble and reassemble uh, Spicer Differential. Alright, so thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to uh, like and share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Maximum Power Train, peace out!